morning Crosspoint families. In my last devotional, I enumerated 73 names of God and shared 17 names specifically by reading the passages that describe different aspects of the characters of God. Today, I want to go over 16 more passages that explain our awesome God. As I said last time, <clears throat> knowing different aspects of God can be very helpful in going deep in prayers. So here we go. Morning Star, Revelation 22, verse 16. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this message for the churches. I am both the source of David and the heir to his throne, I am the bright morning star. See, the bright morning star is the ruler whom Balaam, from, uh, Balaam foresaw arising from Israel to conquer the nations from the book of Numbers, chapter 24, verse 17. Passover land, 1 Corinthians 5, 7. Get rid of the old east by removing this wicked person from among you. Then you will be like a fresh batch of dough made with that yeast, which is what you really are. Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. Number three, priest, Hebrew 4.15. Since then we have a, a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Number four, propitiation. 1 John chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Ransom, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5 to 6. For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all, which is the testimony given at the proper time. Refuge, Isaiah chapter 25, verse 4. For you have been a stronghold to the poor, a stronghold to the needy in his distress, a shelter from the storm, and a shade from the heat. For the breath of the ruthless is like a storm against a wall. Number seven, resurrection. John eleven twenty five. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. Rock. Deuteronomy 32, verse 4. He is the rock. His deeds are perfect. Everything he does is just and fair. He is a faithful God who does no wrong. How just and upright he is. Number nine, sacrifice. Ephesians 5, 1 to 2. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Savior, 2 Samuel 22, verse 47. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock, and exalted be my God, the rock of my salvation. Seed of the woman, Genesis 3, 15. I'll put my enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring, he shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Number 12, Son of God, Luke 135. And the angel answered her, 
the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Number 13, the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Number 14, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9, 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Number 15, Word. John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And let's jump down to verse 14. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Lastly, number 16, vine. John 15, verse 1. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. The 73 names of God are not the complete list of the names of God. There are a lot more, but I will stop here for this devotional. I pray that we will continue to meditate upon our awesome God's names so our prayers can go deep. As I wrap up for today's devotional, I want to read Psalm 95 because this psalm is inviting us to adore His name. And this psalm starts with the word come in verse 1. And verse 3 explains why we are to adore His name with the word for. And this format is repeated one more time in verse 6 and 7. And this psalm is finished with the warning of obeying His word. I pray we will continue to adore His name with the clear knowledge of who He is and what He has done for us so that our prayers, worship, and our Christian life will not be carried out in obligation but with a joyful heart. So here's Psalm 95 verse 1 to 11. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come to Him with thanksgiving. Let us sing psalms of praise to Him. For the Lord is great God, a great King above all gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the mightiest mountains, the sea belongs to him, for he made it. His hands formed the dry land too. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker, for he is our God. We are the people he watches over, the flock under his care. If only you will listen to his voice today. The Lord says, don't harden your heart as Israel did at Meribah, as they did at Massa in the wilderness. For there your ancestors tested and tried my patience, even though they saw everything I did. For forty years I was angry with them, and I said, They are a people whose hearts turn away from me. They refuse to do what I tell them. So in my anger I took an oath. They will never enter my place of rest. For a challenge today, uh, let's write out a prayer, starting first with adoring God using various uh, names of God and the reason for adoring His name using the word for, just like how the author of Psalm 95 did. Mm -hmm.